My name is Dr. Supriya Sri Ganesh and I'm a consultant in the Department of Cataract and Refractive Surgery in Netradama Super Speciality Eye Hospital, Bangalore. I've been using the MyLoop for about two years now with excellent results, especially on post-op day one. I perform about uh, eight to ten cataract surgeries every day and out of that at least two or three are dense cataracts and complicated cases. We want to give our patients that wow factor and that post-op day one clear vision immediately after surgeries. And this is generally possible in the softer cataracts but when it comes to dense cataracts, higher phaco energy used, endothelial damage, hazy corneas on post-op day one. So this is where MyLoop comes in and makes the big difference. So especially in cases with weak bags, weak zonules, pseudo exfoliation, etc. Basically, the Mylu prevents stress on the bag and the zonules because it creates a centripetal force to crack the nucleus in uh, contrast to the centrifugal force which is used while cracking the nucleus. So that really helps reduce stress on zonules in subluxated cataracts, pseudo exfoliation, weak bags, etc. The MyLoop is a micro-thin filament. It's made up of a super elastic nitinol alloy. It was very easy for me to use the MyLoop and continue using it. So I would say the learning curve is quite short. Any patients with low endothelial cell counts for which we don't want to use too much of phaco energy, shallow anterior chambers, pseudo exfoliation, things like this, where we don't want to use a lot of phaco energy or even the normal amount of phaco energy would cause quite a bit of endothelial damage, then we use the MyLoop. These are the ideal cases. Before MyLoop, we had a few things that we used to do for heart cataracts. Extremely dense, brown, black cataracts, we would directly take it up for SICS. Another thing we, we had tried was femtolaser. But the thing with very dense cataracts is that the femtolaser itself does not penetrate that dense posture plate. So what happens is we end up getting a partial cut and we have to use phaco energy to divide the rest. It's not a through and through cut with femto. And once the MyLoop was introduced, it was a game changer for dense cataracts. It completely transects the nucleus, including that fibrous hard posterior plate. And that's a boon for surgeons because it's very difficult to crack that posterior plate.